Hi everyone, and welcome to the midwinter edition of Sky Treasures. This is the time of year when the famous constellation of Orion the Hunter finally climbs high enough into the sky to be fully appreciated. Its bright stars and distinctive shape make it one of the most recognizable star patterns, but that outline also makes it the perfect guidepost to other stars and celestial wonders. Many of us can instinctively pick out Orion because of its three prominent belt stars, arranged in a line, surrounded by four more bright stars representing the character's shoulders and knees. The bright reddish star in Orion's shoulder is sometimes called Betelgeuse, you know, like the movie, because its true name is Betelgeuse, an ancient Arabic word that roughly translates into armpit of the mighty one. Betelgeuse is a massive supergiant star nearing the end of its life and will likely annihilate itself in a massive supernova explosion. If you look below Orion's belt, you'll find three faint stars in another line. Look carefully at the middle one and you'll notice that it appears a bit fuzzy, especially in binoculars. You're looking at one of the most famous cosmic clouds in the sky, the Orion Nebula, a massive collection of gas and dust giving birth to hundreds of new stars. It's one of the most studied celestial nurseries because it lies only 1,300 light years away. Even if you could travel at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, it would take you 30 years to cross from one end of the nebula to the other. So remember, the wintertime is the season of Orion and its great nebula. Throw on that coat, grab those binoculars, and enjoy the splendor of one of the richest parts of the sky. Join us in the Delta College Planetarium on the first Friday of each month at 7 p.m. for Gateway to the Stars, and we'll show you how to enjoy more of the winter nighttime skies. With the Delta College Planetarium and Learning Center, I'm Mike Murray.